lecture for today, I can identify polyhedral and compute the volume of three-dimensional figures. Once again, I can identify polyhedral and compute the volume of three-dimensional figures. Three together, one, two, three. I can identify polyhedral and compute the volume of three-dimensional figures. So if you notice, the word polyhedral should sound familiar to you guys, hopefully. If not, this will be an introduction for some of you. For some of you that watch uh, a lot of TV, like that program, uh, The Big Bang Theory, I think oh, they, yes. they covered this term in one of their episodes. So hopefully today we'll clarify as to what that is. So polyhedral in our Frayer model. It, it says polyhedral, three-dimensional figure whose faces are all polygons. Polyhedral, a three-dimensional figure whose faces are all polygons. Polyhedral, three-dimensional figure whose faces are all polygons. Polyhedral, three-dimensional figure whose faces are all polygons. Now, by now, like I said, in fifth, sixth grade, seventh grade, so you guys already covered what polygons were. Any closed figure that has three or more sides. In case you missed it, and since you guys have been moving around in my class every month, you probably got to see my poster for polygons over there by the, by the light switch, right? And also today we're gonna to be covering volume, so there's a poster for solids over there next to Michael Jordan. Yep, so we're gonna be covering all that. So, um, but polyhedro, it talks about specifically um, figures that have faces, and the faces have, have to be one of those polygons. It has to be one of those, okay? So let me show you first two examples. Give me a second. So polyhedral, let me show you some examples. Now, look up, please. I'm going to have you do these first two. I'm going to show you two figures, two solids, and I want you to sketch them here. I know some of us are a little bit uh, artistically challenged, but I'm going to show you how to sketch it as easy as possible. So the first set of polyhedra are called prisms. Prisms. So write prisms here. And on half of this little box, you're going to sketch this. You don't have to um, write the, the bullets that are showing here. I'm going to explain that to you. But I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see these uh, figures. OK? Here we go. So they are called prisms. And here they are. So for some of us, right now, it's, it's a little challenging to kind of see the front from the back, from the bottom to the top. So let me show you an easy way of sketching these. Here we go. Look up, please. So I'm going to sketch this one. So one thing that you should know about prisms is prisms have two exact bases. Two exact bases. Let me start with this one. This one is obvious to see that this one is exactly the same as this bottom one. Do you guys see that? Okay, and you're saying, Mr. Q, but all these sides look the same. Yeah, but there's more than two. Prisms only have two exact bases. So therefore, I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to sketch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a hexagon, right? All right, so there it is. Scoot all the way down, a little bit further down, and then you're going to draw another one just like the one you drew on top. There it is. Once you do those two, now I'm going to connect this vertex to this vertex, like this. Now this other vertex on the outside to this other vertex on the outside. There it is. Now look at these two right here. Do you see these two vertex? I'm going to do the same to these two. So this one to this one and this one to that one. And which ones are we missing? The ones in the back, right? These two to those two. So to make the effect of giving it dimension, I'm going to sketch these two last ones, but dot it. So watch. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to do the same to this one. You guys see it? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Now I'm going to do the thing to this one. Do you guys see the exact same base here and here? So I'm going to start with this one. I draw this. It looks like a square, slanted. There it is. And I'm going to draw another one down here. Okay. And I'm going to start with the outer vertex. This one to this one. And this one to this one. Now the one in the front. This one to this one. And the one in the back, I'm going to do dotted so I can give it some dimension, right? Damn. Pretty good? What's that? Yeah. You didn't see them before? No, I know. Uh, but for right now, for the purpose of sketching it, that's how I want you to sketch it. Eventually, you're going to do this. Yes? yes? Okay, but for right now, to for the purpose of sketching it, I'm sure you guys have the easiest way of sketching it, okay? All right, so is everybody there so far? Okay, I'm going to erase that. <coughs> Focus, please. Here we go. Now, once again, prisms have how many exact bases? Two. Two. Prisms have how many exact bases? Two. Two. All right. Now, check this out. The prisms are made up of faces. That's what they call each side. So look at this face. Does everybody see this face? So how many faces are all around? Let's see, one, two, three, four. But this time I am counting the bases as faces. So how many faces total does this one have? One, two, three, four, five, six faces. Everybody there? Okay. How many edges does it have? Edges are where two faces meet. So let's see. Here's one face. Here's another face. Here's an edge. Here's another edge and another edge and another edge. Am I done? No. One, two, three, four. Am I done? One, two, three, four. How many total edges? 12. So let's look at this one. All these are faces. How many faces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus the bases. How many total faces? 8. Let's look at the edges. 1, this one in the front, 2, this one in the front, 3, this one on the side, 4, and the 2 in the back. That's how many? 6. Am I done? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Am I done? No, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times three, that's how many? Eighteen faces. I mean edges, I'm sorry, edges. Are we there? Now, the corner itself, we already covered that in the past. They're called a vertex. But all of them together, the plural name of them is called vertices. You guys remember that? Vertices. Vertices. So, singular, vertex, plural, it's vertices. All right. Any questions so far? All right. So this is one type of polyhedra. Let me show you a second type. A second type is called a pyramid. A pyramid. The first one was a prism. The second one is a pyramid. Let me zoom in. So the first one was prism. This one is called a pyramid. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. There it is. So one thing to notice with the pyramids, focus please. My goodness. Here it goes. Prisms have how many exact bases? Two. Two. Tell your neighbor what you notice about this one. They only have what? One base. So. The easiest way of sketching this one, here we go for my challenge uh, people, here we go. Um, the first thing, identify the base. What does this base look like? A triangle. Sketch your triangle. And then you're going to plot a point right above it, or the vertex, and connect that to the other three vertices. This one to that one. This one to that one. 
and this one to that one. And that's how you sketch your pyramid. Look at this one. What does this base look like? A square, right? It's slanted, so draw your base. Plot your point above it and connect it to each of the other vertices. To this one, to that one, to this one, and the one in the back, I'm going to do that dotted to look at the effect that it's a see-through solid. Are we there so far? So once again, the two different types of polyhedra are prisms and pyramids. Prisms have two exact bases. Pyramids only have one base. Everybody got that? All right. With that said, let me show you none examples. So these are called polyhedra because it says here they're three-dimensional. Are they three-dimensional? Yes. And the faces are polygons. Are all these polygons on the faces? Yes. Okay. Let me show you non examples. A cylinder and a cone. Let me zoom in. A cylinder and a cone. A cylinder and a cone. As you're copying that, start thinking. These are not polyhedra because, don't say it out loud, keep it to yourself. These are not polyhedra because. Okay. So let's see. These are polyhedra. These are not polyhedra. These are polyhedra. These are not polyhedra. Talk it over to your neighbor, tell them why these are not polyhedra. All right. Let's see, look at this one and look at that one. So, Francesca, can you elaborate why these are not polyhedra? Because they do not have faces. That is correct. They do not have faces. If they don't have faces that meet up together, what else don't they have? Livia? They do not have edges. Then they don't have edges. If we don't have faces that meet up, that means that it doesn't have an edge. Now you're saying, Mr. Q, but isn't this an edge to sketch it like that? Well, for two dimension, yes, it looks like an edge. But on three dimension, try to think outside the box. If you look at a cylinder, does it have a face? No, it just keeps going round and round and round. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so with that said, I want you to write some uh, hashtags as to what is a polyhedra that you would send someone and share that with your neighbor, and I'll get some... Uh, Volunteers to give me some hashtags, please. Let me zoom out. All right. Volunteers. Caleb. Hashtag touching faces. Hashtag touching faces. Yes. Hashtag three dimensional. Close. Uh, Francesca. Hashtag polygons. Hashtag polygons. What else? Yes. Hashtag edges. Hashtag edges. <coughs> yes. Hashtag bases. Hashtag bases. And one last one. Anyone? Anyone? Oh, okay. <laughs> <That's one. laughs> Hashtag prisms and pyramids. Be nice. All right, we got that? All right. A vertex is the corner that makes all three faces meet on a solid, and the base is what identifies the polyhedron. So, check this out. Don't copy this yet. Look up, writing utensils down. Here we go. 
I want us to classify this, which means we're going to identify the name of this polyhedron. Focus, please stop working on that play sheet. My goodness. Here we go. I want to first identify the names of these figures. These have two names. Remember when we covered polynomials, it had two names, one because of the terms, the other one because of the degree. Yeah. This one is going to be called two names, one because of the base and the other one because of the type of polyhedra. So here we go. Let's identify the type of polyhedra. Tell your neighbor what type of polyhedra this is. All right, what type of polyhedral is this? I'm not talking about the name. I just want the type of polyhedral. There were only two types. What is the polyhedral on this one? Axel. It's a pyramid, and that's the last name. Pyramid. That's the last name of this figure. We need a first name. The first name is given by the base. What is the name of the base? Adam. A pentagon. So in order to make it sound well, we're not just going to write Pentagon Pyramid, we're going to write Pentagonal Pyramid. Or a Penta Pyramid, I'll take that too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Copy that please. Pentagonal. Yeah, Pentagonal Pyramid. So once again, this first name is because of the base, and the last name is because of the Type of polyhedral. Those are the two names that we need in order to classify it. Okay? All right. And to sketch this, you already know you start with the base, place a point, and then you connect to the vertices. Yes? All right. So, let's go to example two. See if you can classify this one by yourself. Example two, let me zoom in. Don't say it out loud, keep it to yourself. Sketch it. Once you sketch it, identify what type of polyhedra and then give it a first name according to the base. All right, let's see what you get for this one. What? Darren. Triangular pyramid. Pyramid. Hands, if you got that, that is correct. Let's go to the next one. Number three. Copy this one. Yeah. Getting funner. Yes, of course. Okay, uh, can you get the left light? Uh, Liz, thank you. That one? Okay. Let's look at this one. First of all, tell your neighbor what type of polyhedral this is. No, what type of polyhedral? Okay, once again, what type of polyhedral? I don't want the classification yet. It's a prism, okay? If it's a prism, I should have two exact bases only. So some of you, look up, some of you said, oh, here's a base, and this is the base. Well, no. no, because this one is also like that one, and this one's also like that one, this one, and this one. Then that cannot be the base. If those are not the bases, then that means the ones on the side are our bases. You guys see those? Mm -hmm. And to sketch this, you sketch this base first. Then you sketch the other one. doesn't matter if you cross through the other. That's fine. And then you connect the vertices. This one to this one. This one to this one. To that one. That one. This one and dot it. This one and dot it. And there you go. Now that we have that, tell your neighbor the base and tell them the name of this polyhedral. Okay. 
So, what'd you get for this one? Brian, what's the name of this polyhedron? Yeah. Adam. Hexagonal, that is correct. Prism, hands if you got that. That is correct. All right. Let me move on. This one? Yeah, those are it. Yeah, I remember it already. Yesterday. The, yeah, I'm going to put it in, but yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So for this one, the base was uh, square. So we do side times side equals 4 times 4. That's 16 times the height. So the volume is 192 feet cubed. Yeah? How about, how about this one? How about this one? Let's see. What is the area for the base? Area equals pi r squared. This one. Oh, I'm sorry. There it is. Pi r squared, right? No. So area. No, that that's base times height divided by two. Pi r squared is for the circle. So pi times four squared. What is four squared? Sixteen times pi. That's sixteen pi. Volume equals sixteen pi times what is the height? Twelve. So the volume is one hundred ninety-two pi inches. Yeah, a good one.